Take home the magic of Easter on video cassette. Family Home Entertainment's sparkling selection of Easter videos capture all the excitement of this favorite time of year. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Meet the most famous Easter bunny of all. I never dreamed I'd get to be cheap Easter bunny. Danny Kay sings and voices, Here Comes Peter Cottontail. I don't want to be a pie. Jill Burnett narrates Beatrix Potter's timeless classic, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. I'm the Easter Bunny and everybody loves me. Speedy Cottontail takes kids for a fun-filled adventure on Easter Egg Morning. Then, it's the much-loved yarn of the toy bunny who comes to life. That's not a toy, Nana. Real. The Velveteen Rabbit. Well, it's that time of year. These and other sparkling Easter delights are waiting for you on video cassette. On sale now wherever videos are sold from Family Home Entertainment. It's a beautiful Easter egg morning with a bright colored Easter egg sky. And an Easter parade kind of feeling When the old Easter bunny comes by Easter eggs painted just like a rainbow Chocolate bunnies with funny long ears When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day of the year Little girls with their pink Easter bonnets Little boys all dressed up Easter blue there's a nest with an Easter egg on it In a basket all shiny and new It's a magical, wonderful feeling That'll make all the clouds disappear When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day of the year There's a nest with an Easter egg on it In a basket all shiny and new It's a magical, wonderful feeling That'll make all the clouds disappear When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day of the year When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day Ah, Easter egg morning. Just about the happiest day of the year. But did you ever wonder where the Easter Bunny gets all those beautiful eggs he delivers to the children every year? And did you ever wonder what Easter might be like without those eggs? Well, this is the story of how Picasso's speedy cottontail learned a very important lesson and why this year he'll still be delivering those Easter eggs. Our story begins in the little town of Barnyard, USA. Everything seems peaceful until we look inside the big chicken coop. Easter Bunny prepares for Big Day. Whew! The Easter Bunny says it's an awfully tough job painting all these eggs and delivering them every year. But kids all over the world depend on me, so I don't mind all the hard work. Whew! He doesn't know what hard work is. The hard part is laying all these eggs and gathering them. Without our eggs, there wouldn't be any Easter. Right, girls? <laughs> Ladies, I think it's time we got a little recognition for the work we do. I say, if the Easter Bunny won't give us any credit, then we won't give him any eggs. above me everybody loves me i am speedy cottontail there's no easter without me they sing songs about me up and down the bonnie trail but when you got to carry millions of eggs it gets a 
little heart on the leg. It may look kind of funny, but this Easter Bunny likes to ride. Over land, over river, I always deliver to children all around the world. I'm their amigo, a friend and a hero to every single boy and girl. But when you got to go a million miles, you might as well go in style. It may look kind of funny, but this Easter Bunny likes to ride. I love to ride when morning just begun, bringing in a sunny day, driving along, singing a song, and meeting friends along the way. The one and only Speedy Cottontail, artist and world traveler, loved by all. Oh, I'm glad to see you're still as humble as ever. Hello, ladies. Well, it's that time of year. Time for the old master artist to display his talents to the world again. So if you'll just load these eggs onto the truck, I'll be on my way. Just a minute, miss. Mr. Cottontail, we ladies have been talking, and we've decided it's about time we got a little credit, too. Credit? Credit for what, Henrietta? Credit for all the work we do, and for making sure Easter comes every year. Everyone knows that rabbits don't lay eggs, and without our eggs, you'd have nothing to paint or deliver. <laughs> With all due respect, ladies, Everyone knows that it's not the eggs, it's my unique painting on them that makes Easter special. And the fact that I always make my deliveries on time. Well, Mr. Cottontail, you can just get your eggs somewhere else this year. Well, suit yourselves, ladies. I can get eggs anywhere. I'm Speedy Cottontail, the Easter Bunny, and everybody loves me. glory. Why, I might even become a star. I'm gonna be famous when Easter comes this year. When they see the Easter chicken, they'll all stand up and cheer. I'm gonna be famous when they see my Easter eggs. They'll put me in the movies when they get Tail, when he's 
Henrietta and all the hens get to work. For the first time ever, the Easter Bunny won't be delivering the Easter eggs. At least, that's what they think. Meanwhile, the Easter Bunny drives deeper and deeper into the forest, looking for eggs. He drives past a deep, dark hole, stops the truck, and looks in. Oh boy, this is gonna be easy. Everybody loves me and they'll be glad to give me all the eggs I want. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Yes. Who is it? Uh, it's the one and only Speedy Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. I was wondering if you'd mind if I borrowed a few of your eggs for Easter. I'm running a little short this year. Of course you can. Come inside. Won't you sit down? Well, I'm uh, kind of in a hurry. Stay a while and visit. You must be very tired. I will fix some lunch for you, whatever you desire. The famous Easter Bunny has to hop and jump. You've got to keep your strength up, so I'll make you nice and plump. A great big bowl of carrots Right before your eyes And for dessert you're gonna get A very big surprise I'm really not that hungry I've lost my appetite It sure looks good But I just couldn't eat another bite But I haven't had my lunch yet my tongue is recognizing And a big fat bunny rabbit Sounds extremely appetizing I've got the perfect thing to take my place How about a bowl of carrots in your face? After that narrow escape, the Easter Bunny is thinking that it might not be quite as easy as he thought to find Easter eggs. He drives even deeper into the forest until he comes to a strange looking place in the swamp. He hears someone snoring and gets out to investigate. He pulls back a bush and there on a strange looking red carpet surrounded by white fence posts are dozens of eggs. Wow! Look at all those beautiful eggs! And they aren't snake eggs! Hello? Hello? Hmm, sounds like they're asleep inside this cave. I know, I'll take some eggs and leave a note explaining everything. Whoever lives here won't mind because I'm the Easter Bunny and everybody loves me. Whoa, the, the carpet's moving. These are baby alligators. And this is no carpet, it's a tongue. And those aren't fence posts, they're teeth. <laughs> Things aren't going very well for the Easter Bunny, and Easter is getting closer every minute. So let's go check on Henrietta and the other hens and see how they're doing. Wow, look at yours. Who ever heard of a 
my polka dotted Easter egg. Ladies, ladies, settle down. It's just no use. As much as I hate to admit it, the Easter Bunny is right. He is an artist. And I couldn't deliver all these eggs. I'd be lost in no time. Besides, they look awful. Well, it looks like the hens are having just as much trouble as the Easter Bunny trying to make sure Easter comes this year. Now, Albert has been listening to the hens arguing, so he decides to go find Speedy Cottontail and see how he's doing. Albert flies deep into the forest until finally he spots the Easter Express. Empty. He lands on a limb just above the truck and watches. Speedy has just stopped at a tall, strange-looking house. He knocks on the door and then jumps into his truck ready to fly off if something else tries to get him. Who's there? Uh, it's uh, Speedy Cottontail, the Easter Bunny. I'm running a little short on Easter eggs this year, and I was wondering if you could part with a few of yours. Well, I guess I can let you have one. Just go out back and get it. One egg? She can only let me have one egg? Well... That's one more than I've gotten so far. I wonder where the eggs are. Must be behind these big rocks. Wait a minute. This is no rock. It's an egg. An ostrich egg. Well, it's better than nothing. Made it. No use. I hate to admit it, but the hens are right. Without their eggs, I'm just another rabbit. Looks like you're not doing too well, Picasso. And time is running out. Tomorrow is Easter and you don't have a single egg. I wish I could apologize to the hens, but they probably won't even speak to me now. Oh, I think if you tell them, they'll listen. How do you let someone know that you need them when you've never shown them before? And how do you let someone know that you love them when you've never told them before? Think of the times that you took them for granted and never let your feelings show. Well, if you don't tell them, how will they know? Sometimes it's nice just to hear someone say, you sure did a good job today. And once in a while, a smile's not enough when there's so many things you can say. Everyone wants to believe that they're needed, but sometimes they don't let it show. Well, if you don't tell them, how will they know? and treat them unkind but good friends are special and so hard to find and to say i love you would be easy to do if you tried so could i the easter bunny jumps in the easter express and roars back to the chicken coop to tell the hens how much he needs it Meanwhile, the hens are realizing that they need the Easter Bunny just as much as he needs them. How do you let someone see that you need him when you've never shown him before? Think of the time that we took him for granted and never let our feelings show. If we don't tell him, how will he know? Everyone wants to believe that they're needed, 
sometimes it just doesn't show If we don't tell them, how will they know? If we don't tell them, how will they know? Ladies, you were right. Without your eggs, I'm just another cool bunny. Oh, I'll admit, I'm a great artist, but without your eggs, there's no Easter. No, Speedy, it's not our eggs that make Easter. It's your special way of painting them. And no one could deliver all those eggs except you. I think what we've learned here today is that to make Easter special, it takes a lot of hard work from everybody. You can get more things done working together than working against each other. Now, if my watch is correct, Easter is less than 24 hours away. So, you'd better see just how good you all can work together, or there's going to be some mighty disappointed children tomorrow. The Easter Bunny's eyes light up and he flies into action. He is a blur as he paints 20, 30, 40 eggs at a time, each one different from the rest. Meanwhile, the hens have an assembly line going, passing the eggs to each other and loading the truck. The huge pile of eggs rapidly dwindles while the Easter Express rapidly fills. As the Easter Bunny finishes the last egg, he is moving so fast that before he realizes it, he has painted the front of Albert just like an Easter egg. Uh, sorry about that, Albert. Oh, that's all right, Speedy. That tie was a little busy anyway. Thanks for all your help, everybody. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, I better get going. See you next year. Bye, Speedy. So long, Picasso. It's a beautiful Easter egg morning With a bright colored Easter egg sky And an Easter parade kind of feeling When the old Easter bunny comes by Easter eggs painted just like a rainbow Chocolate bunnies with funny long ears When you wake up on Easter egg morning it's the happiest day of the year. Little girls with their pink Easter bonnets. Little boys all dressed up Easter blue. There's a nest with an Easter egg on it. In a basket all shiny and new. It's a magical, wonderful feeling. That'll make all the clouds disappear. When you wake up on Easter egg morning, it's the happiest day of the year. There's a nest with an Easter egg on it, in a basket all shiny and new. It's the magical, wonderful feeling. That'll make all the clouds disappear When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day of the year When you wake up on Easter egg morning It's the happiest day of the year